All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Heroes United development video. It's been quite a while since we've made a video and today I am by myself, no Ethereum today, but I'm gonna be walking you guys through uh, some concepts that we have in the game. Now everything we're showing you guys is 100% not final. This is all really extremely early work. Just kind of want to lay it out to you guys, kind of right now, tease it to you guys right now, see what you guys think, get some feedback so we can make the changes, and then we want to see you guys can you know, pour out your ideas, and we can take some of the good ideas that, uh, that we like, and we'll just keep going the way we're going. So I teased this a bit a while ago, I teased it on, on the Discord, I showed this picture. Now, you guys tell about title, we're going to be showing off assist and offense. Now we're going to show off the assist first. Assist should be pretty you know, pretty um, obvious they're going to be assist characters like fighting games. And that's the, the thing I teased the other day. So if you come over to our inventory, right, we're going to have items that this is going to be like the items you collect. You're going to have augments, and you're going to have assist, and you're going to have miscellaneous. We'll talk about miscellaneous in the future. So let's first look at our assist. So assist, there's going to be three different types of assists. We're going to have our, our range type assist. Then we're going to have our melee type assist. And this is actually supposed to be a range, but just leave it be I put the wrong icon here um, and then we're gonna have support assist now support is gonna range from a different a bunch of different types so support can be it can be an evasion it can be it can be a shield it can be a heal it can be a, something like tech eye like where you come in like tank attack or something like that. it can be a different thing so um, there's a lot anything that supports your character it's going to be um, a support type. And it's going to be blue, have like a little shield icon. And like I said, range is going to be just generally an attack that has more range. And this is going to be have like a melee style hitbox. So I'll show you guys a few today. We'll show off this one. We'll show off these four. I'm not going to show off this one, but we'll show off these four real quick. Like I said, these are very early on. They're not even fully suited up. But it'll give you guys an early look. So you come over here and then you can equip your assist. I may, like I have a thing for all, but I'll show you guys later. I may add, like when you click on it, it'll show you like exactly what it is you name and details on it so you can remember. But we'll see how that goes and if that becomes a problem. Now, like I said, assists are going to really greatly enhance like your, your combo potential. It's going to give you guys a bit of build diversity. Uh, it's a bit of uniqueness, you know what I'm saying? So every Batman is not going to feel the same. Um, and you can, this can really mix up and change your combos. It's saying it's saying with Alchemy, but we're really getting to Alchemy in the field. Alright, so let's get into these six. Like I said, the first one I'm gonna show you off is the Gambit card throw. Like I said, this is pretty early on. The 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 dummies aren't even fully suited up just yet. But if you go to parts the Seas key, you're spawning your assist, and I don't know why this animation didn't properly load in right there, but you'll be able to throw the cards. These will still be parable or not parable, PBable. So if I throw it out, throw the cards out, boom, I can still get punished off that. But it can, you know, enhance your combos. And these are generally going to be a lesser version of the actual skill. So it probably do less damage and stuff like that, less stun. But that's going to be that. Now, let's come over here to look at another one. So come over here, boom. Now, let's look at the pole strike. A boom. This can be used with all characters as well. Even if you're actually using Gambit, you can still use his assist. And you can have, like, double cards or whatever the case may be. And it's going to be a bunch of ton of different assists. So, like, yeah. So... One of the game is really good attacks is his strike, so you can boom, pop that out, you can run over here, continue my combo stream, and it works like with, with his air combos as well. So if I come up here, boom, 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 and then strike, boom, knock him down, boom, 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 you can you can do that. You know what I'm saying? You can mix up and see how you want to do it. So for example, with Batman, you guys know his his um, battering knocks back. So if I were able to do like this, I mean pull it back and then throw it out like that, boom, bring him back in. That helps me get that combo started. So combo there with that. Let's take a look at another one. So from over here, we have the the the, the this is the trident the tri trident clash crash. I can't speak. So yeah, so you come up, boom, and then throw it down. The animations are acting funky right now. Um, I don't know if my internet's tweaking, but bop pop that. Yeah, what the hell? I got it. My internet. Whoa, whoa. Why would I want to record a video? My internet want to trip. But yeah, you can do it out of combos, boom. You know, so you can really mix up your combos and do some different things, you know? This can really give you some uniqueness and maybe give you guys something your kit lacks or whatever the case may be. So if you need an extra guard break or you need some extra range, some extra poke, some extra combo extenders, whatever the case may be, this will help you guys with that. Now, since we'll have a long cooldown, it's gonna, you're going to have an assist icon right here that's going to go on cooldown. You guys see the time and everything like that. But since are going to have generally a long cooldown, I'm really getting irritated how laggy these animations are proper right now. This guy's kind of pissing me off. I just really wasn't doing that earlier today. But you guys can you guys can get the gist. 
Now, this one. There's gonna be different tiers. It's gonna be one star version, two star version, and three star version based on like how, I don't know. I'm, it's gonna be like kind of based on how you get them, basically. Now, this one is, you know, there's gonna be something that can really, you know, help you with your combos. So, this is Aquaman's Trident Grab. Let's see. Boom. Mix. You know what I'm saying? This literally gets you a crazy combo extent, you know? And you can grab them out the air if you do it right. You can boom. Bah, slam down the air into another combo stream to so a mix, mix, and I drop the combo. But you guys can see you can get really nasty with it, bro. Really nasty with these mix. You know what I'm saying? You know, and then, and then, bah! It, 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 it can, it can get wicked out here. It can get very wicked out here, and you can guys can mix and match. You know what I'm saying? Um. And don't sleep, like I said, we're gonna have evasion once as well. They're gonna be really good to get you out of combos and stuff like that. It's, it's gonna be some some really nice mix up of what you can do with assists. Uh, and it's gonna be even ones that proc passive um, passively as well. Alright, so if you here's how you're gonna be going about taming assists. It's gonna be a few different ways you can go about doing this. It can just be some of these are gonna be boss exclusive ones. So if you guys seen teasers like Jerry and Bizarro, they will have their own exclusive ones. Um, there's gonna be this time thing like a battle pass. I'll be explaining in the future, but this pass type thing that you can earn some off. There's gonna be a bit of gotcha. There's gonna be some shops you can do it for. There's gonna be many different ways that you guys can earn these. So yeah, that is our assist system. Now let's get into the augment system. This system is pretty new, so it's even a little bit less developed. And I'll, I got, I got. What I'm gonna show you guys is a super teaser of it. It's not. It's one I really just made just to show y'all, showcase you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna actually add it or not. But uh, I just made it really quickly just to show you guys. So boom. So we have augments. Now augments are going to be very unique. Now you're gonna, you're gonna have probably have icons in the future, but right now they got names. So there's gonna be four, three to three types of augments. Four, four types of augments. It's on my screen, man. Four types of augments. So right here, we have our most basic augment. It's gonna be our gadget type augment. You guys, you click on it, you can see what type of augment it is. It's gonna tell you the name, grenade, and it's a simple grenade. So if I were to equip this augment, it's going to give me an additional grenade ability. So I would equip this on, equip it, boom, and this will give you this. Not this is supposed to get deleted right here, and this is gonna be your 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 augment slot or your gadget slot. And this is going to um give you guys an additional grenade so if I was to press G while this equip I will throw out a little frag grenade or a synthetic grenade I don't remember which grenade I made it's super old but um yeah this will throw out a grenade this was going to be originally our gadgets right but uh, we expand the system maybe more so these are, are our simple type of gadgets so it can be grenade a molotov a chug jug you know say any, any type of simple thing like that is going to be your gadgets now we have our second type now our second type is armor so right here we click on this one we have um our our bomb oh my mom's gonna blank our freaking uh our body armor and this is going to be a passive stat based one it says body armor for us to use an additional five percent damage reduction so if i was to put this on i'm going to take five percent damage from all sources i guess except true damage sources and ignore, ignore damage reduction so yeah, there's gonna be different types that can maybe increase your like it's gonna be a brass knuckle one, which is gonna give you increase in one damage. These numbers are random, these are placeholders. We don't know if things are gonna be settled on these. Don't don't get called on numbers or stuff like that. These are just random things that we're just putting right now. But body armor, this is another type. Now our third type is weapon type. So you can have a weapon type offense. Now weapon type offense, we're gonna actually equip this one. It's actually when we equip this one wrong real quick. A weapon type, type augments are, think of like GPO weapons, right? So if I were to press G, right? So boom, if I press G, I can now switch to my weapon type augment, which is going to be dual pistols. Now, every augment is not going to be, uh, every weapon augment is not going to be like this. Some are going to be a quick pop, but some will have their own M1 string and come with their own skills. So you guys see, when well, I switch to help hit, 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 dual pistols, I'm going to get a heavy shot, dash shot, a clip on little random names. I got in placeholder names, but this one will have skills. As well as this one, this is going to have its own M1 string. So this is going to give you guys ranged M1s, all placeholder stuff right now. But this is going to be your weapon that augment, so you can get it. a bunch of different type of weapons that we already have planned out. That I don't want to spoil just yet. I just kind of want to tease you guys a little bit. So things you plan. So you are going to be able to be Hulk with pistols, or Hulk with a great sword, or Hulk with a whatever other type of weapon that we end up adding. There will be some powers that can use. Uh, that has a weapon built into it 
but there will be some that you can just kind of mix it up. So like, if I were to switch to, if I were to have Gambit, and I switched out the pole, he has his pole up, he will put his pole up and then switch to his guns out. Uh, so yeah, that is the, the, the dual pistols. Now, our final type of what's name. So I'm gonna use a skill first so you guys, so you guys remember. So this is our uh, this is our battle ring, right? So if we throw our battle ring out, you guys know the most the traditional regular battle ring, right? Now our last type is going to be skill type. Now this is going to change how a skill works in a kit. Now skill types are generally going to be character specific and it can change how their skill works. So we got something that says Batman Shock Shock Rank Enchant. It says Augment Batman's battle range skill to shock range, dealing less damage but true stunning, also having a chance to par paralyze targets. So if I was to equip this one right here, boom, and I'm bugged out right here, I'll fix this. This is a little big bug, you know what I'm saying? I ignore it. Um, this is pretty. This is quickly made, so this is not a place. This is just a placeholder. I just want to make some something, something really quick so you guys can get a visual of it. I don't know if this will actually be added. Probably will. I don't know. We'll see. So if I throw it out, right? So now you guys see it is a electric, electric. Oh my gosh, electrified charged batarang, which is going to true. It's going to not only true stun them. It also has a chance to to uh, to make them fall over and get paralyzed, and it will give them the paralysis status. Like I said, this was pretty quickly made, and th like I said, it would do less damage. So normally you're doing ten damage on it, but this version is only doing five damage. So if I throw that on, boom. You guys see he gets shocked right there, falls over and deal more damage you know what i'm saying now he's probably gonna be like if, it, if i were to proc the actual proc the shock status he'd be shocked and he can get shocked you know so like pokemon you know what i'm saying like every so often you just start getting shocked and falling over so this is how weapons i mean all the skill augments can change your character's abilities and powers it's going to be a lot of different skill augments that i'm not going to go over today i just kind of want to teach you guys this now this one right here is the last one i was going to show it but i'm not going to show it today this one will be in i'm just not adding this yet this is called willpower overload a lot of you guys were talk telling me that hey man i, I want green lantern so attack sizes to be bigger i was like i'm not trying to hear that but with skill augment you're going to be able to do that it says willpower overload enhance the size of all green lantern attacks so his bat his wall his 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 um his Fist crash down in, well, his baseball that he throws. All his attacks will be larger, increasing the hitbox size, and just visually looks just more destructive and massive. So overall, that's that is a way a skill can be uh, enhanced. There's gonna be different ones. There's gonna be a bunch of different ones for different characters that I already have planned out. Just not going over case, not not going over them all in today's video. And you guys see, like if I were to equip this one, let me show you guys. If I equip this one, this won't have any effect on me. Right, boom, and I go back to Batman's battle ranks, and I'm just throwing out the regular ones now. That is not doing anything additional anymore. So, some skills, will, some characters will be affected by. They will have unique um, skill options that only work on them. You can equip it on all characters, but it only worked on certain characters. So yeah, that is that. Now, skill augments, augments will be attained in different different ways. Um, there'll be the PVP. Um, it's gonna be a PVP shop that you can be able to grind for. It's gonna be open world quest um it's gonna be shops there's gonna be character specifics so uh maybe batman quest to unlock the shock rank version you gotta do his quest line stuff like that um so right now skill augments are only going to be for um no i are going to be for regulars no assists assists are only going to be main main uh borrow powers there's a, there's a special thing we're going to do for um gifted powers but we'll talk about it in the future and we still need a bit more planning out on that but yeah that's kind of what we have planned. I just want to showcase you guys, tease that bit for you, at least you guys get a little look at some of the customized customization that you're gonna be able to have with your characters and be able to switch your build and change some stuff up. There's a lot more to be at the show, and I'm still working on it. But yeah, that's about it. Let me know what you guys' thoughts of the augment and skill system, augment and assist system down in the comment section. And oh uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm out. Peace.